Hey, good people, how are you doing? I hope that you are so good, good, good. If you're in the East African uh, time zone, it's morning for you right here. And so I hope that it's a good morning. Well, it's getting to mid morning, but I hope it's a good morning that you are energized and ready to go. Whichever part of the world you're watching us from, hope that uh, whatever time it is, you are well. All right, this is Wisdom Moments on K24 with me, CJ Temo the Sage. We're coming to you from the 67 Airport Hotel. We're so grateful for your partnership over and over uh, on the Wisdom Moments on K24. And this is quite a good, good, good place. The wind is blowing from behind me. Uh, we've got a number of restaurants here and bars. There's the swimming pool. Uh, there's a car wash. There's a barber shop. Uh, excellent accommodation as well. Uh, you've got good cuisine at very affordable prices. You've got conference facilities so you can bring in your workmates. You can bring in your teams for team building uh, activities as well. You can have seminars, workshops, conferences the whole day and still be accommodated here or even just walk in and go back in the evening. But there's so much that is available from this place. And it's got this serenity, so it's not too far from the road. It's along Mombasa Road, a few minutes from the airport. It's six kilometers from the airport, seven minutes drive. That's why it's called 67 Airport Hotel. But you just do that and, uh, you know, come and check them out and enjoy the facilities as well. Well, we are talking about managing disappointment. But before I do that, I want to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, CJ Temo. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, on Twitter, and connect with me on LinkedIn, CJ Temo, as well. When you subscribe to the YouTube channel, also set notifications so that whenever the videos are uploaded, you'd be able to know and then watch, engage with us, like and share as well we'd be so glad keep in touch there's so many of you who are getting in touch via the dms keep in touch as well there's an email address on the screen for those who want to keep it formal or you just want to keep it very very confidential you're not sure of who is reading the mails or the inboxes so just use the email address that is right there on your screen get in touch and we'd be so glad to get back to you whether you're seeking clarification you want us uh, you're bringing suggestions or you have questions whatever it is uh, we will get back to you and i will as soon as i can and i'll be so glad and delighted to do that let's keep building the numbers on social media so keep following you know just build up let's build up on instagram let's build up on youtube let's build up on facebook let's build up on twitter everywhere and let's just see the numbers grow connect on LinkedIn and I'd be so glad as well. Well, we've said that people get disappointed because of high expectations and because of wrong assumptions. They get disappointed because they place high expectations. And I say that the high expectations are mostly on the wrong people, in quotes, that the person didn't sign up for those high expectations. You know, um, somebody once say that I did not sign up to be your role models or your children's role model. They didn't sign up for those high expectations. So you get disappointed in somebody who feels like, well, I didn't say I wanted to be a part of this. It is always very good for you to be clear about who somebody is in your life, about what they are doing in your life, about how you're working your business, your agreements, uh, what kind of partnership you're getting into, if you're getting into business, uh, if you're putting in money, uh, if you're getting onto a job, it is good for you to be very clear about your levels of engagement because uh, sometimes you place very high expectations based on the second thing that I talked about, wrong assumptions. But I want to talk about something, it's so correlated to the two things that I've talked about and the number three reason why people get very disappointed is succumbing to peer pressure. You're succumbing to peer pressure. And so you do things not because you want to do them or not because you feel is the right thing to do, not because you feel it is what you needed to do at that particular point, but because everybody says, let's do this, or they're not even saying it, but because you see everybody do it and you think it must have a good feel if everybody's doing it. How many times have people gotten into business, for example, and started a business just because everybody around them seemed to be running that business and they all say that it was good. If you remember years ago, every, nearly everybody who was getting into business was going to Turkey. There were days everybody was going to Dubai. Then there was a time everybody's going to China. You see, people would flow because nearly everybody they know who is in business or who is trying to start up something would be going that direction. 
So you'd find somebody probably not even doing market research, somebody not even trying to find out what would be their unique selling point, what is it that people around them need, what is it that they would be passionate about, what is it that they have the capital for, what do they have knowledge about. They would not even go into all those thoughts they'll just flow because everybody seems to be flowing and to be doing well and this is so often a case for people to get disappointed because they will never really know the intricacies behind somebody else's success and they will think that just because three or four people are successful in one area then if they flow into that area they will make easy money i mean business is the easiest place to bring out this element of peer pressure you find years ago people were using bicycles uh, as a mode of transport before they mostly went into the motorcycles and you just can't count the number of motorcycles so you'd get places flooded you'll get a stage that has you know so many people who have packed there from morning till evening because everybody is trying to do what everybody else is doing and they will put in their money and have somebody sit over there it's the same thing with the taxi cabs people would just pour their cars into the taxi cabs or even the car hire business then it becomes saturated some people never even knew what they expected what they would expect how those things would run they just had from somebody saying if i put my car in there i'll be getting forty thousand per month so they wanted a very easy way of getting residual income but then they moved into it because of peer pressure in a sense everybody around them at work was doing that isn't that the same case even with plots so you find people every weekend they've gone into different places masses of them people in buses going into places to buy plots because other people say they bought plots i mean so they're part of circles and they're part of all these investment groups and they go into spaces after a while they realize that the plots that they bought are not even commercially viable they cannot develop them yet they've got to wait for another 10 years before those lands would nearly you know uh, become something of value to them and they are stuck right over there their money stuck they cannot resell at that particular point and they are stuck they've tied up their money and they're disappointed because they worked based on peer pressure it is important for you to make decisions based on proper knowledge information research convictions you need to do that because you have the conviction that this is the right direction for me to take when you place expectations on circumstances and people based on peer pressure you will most likely get disappointed because not everybody will have the same result you went to school with quite a number of people you didn't all come out scoring the same grade you'll get into a football field and you will not all come out with the same result. You'll get onto an athletics uh, track, but you're not going to have the same result. Everybody eventually attains results as an individual. So however good something looks like, however good a venture looks like, don't just flow in because that's the direction people are going. How does it sit with your vision? How does it sit with your convictions? How does it sit with your priorities? How does it sit with the stage in life that you are in right now? It could be that everybody's going to business, but you at this particular point feel you need to go back to school. Do that. Don't flow just because everybody's flowing. It could be that everybody wants to build a house and you think that the best thing for you to do right now would be to buy a car. Go ahead, don't let anybody make you feel guilty and they'll be telling you how, you know, uh, you're buying a car, it will depreciate in value or something. I mean, people have bought lands and lost them because of scams. So it's got to be based on your conviction at any one point so that you can actually take responsibility for the decisions that you make. I hope this has been helpful to you, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it right here because every Monday to Friday, 9.55 a.m., we bring you Wisdom Moments on K24 with me, CJ at Mother Sage. And so until next.